hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a get ready with me video i am going to dinner tonight so i just thought that i would probably just film how i get done do my hair do my makeup um and this is basically what i'm gonna do which is something i do every day so it's nothing new anyways i really like how it came out so if you are interested in getting this makeup look and hair look please keep watching <laughs> So I'm going to do my hair first. I have lightly dried my hair with a hair dryer. So I've taken all that just that dampness out of my hair and just let it air dry for a couple of minutes. You'd think that I would use a curling iron to make the waves in my hair but I'm just going to use my GHD only because it's so much easier and so much faster. I'm going to use my just normal GHD. This is the pink um, GHD Platinum and this was the one that came out for breast cancer. But I'm basically just obsessed with the fact that it's pink. So I'm just gonna put that on quick quick. Recently I got a micro keratin treatment done on my hair. So basically what the micro keratin treatment does is it fills that broken or damaged areas of your hair strand and it just makes your hair look super sleek. So it's kind of like building blocks of your hair which is the keratin. I got one of those done not too long ago and my hair feels so so good so because I had the micro keratin process done on my hair I have to use a shampoo that has no sulfates in it or is sulfate free and most times those shampoos and conditioners are quite pricey so I was using the micro keratin brand um, which was a no sulf was a sulfate free shampoo sorry and it was so exciting but I saw that L'Oreal came out with a low shampoo it's called the L'Oreal Alviv extraordinary oil low shampoo gentle cleansing cream with no foam and no sulfates and it looks like that and i honestly didn't think that l'oreal was going to come out or anyone was actually going to come out with something sort of not this advanced but like to a point where you don't necessarily have to buy like this very expensive brand in order to maintain a micro keratin treatment or brazilian treatment and so forth so i started using this um this week and it's amazing like it doesn't make my hair frizz it doesn't make my hair hard it probably is in stores now i'm not sure if it has been in stores but they did send me this one but anyways long story short i absolutely love it before i add any heat to my hair i'm going to use the ghd advanced split end therapy and it looks like that so it's just a heat protectant and i'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers not too much I'm just going to use like that amount there and literally just like run it through the bottom bits of my hair. So I'm just going to put my hair in half. So I'm just taking little sections from the back and I'm putting it between my JHD and just curling it and pulling it down. And when it comes to the ends, I just pull the ends straight. I don't make my ends too curly. Alright, so the bottom bit is done. I'm just going to tie it back and then I'm going to do the top half. So sometimes they come out very tight like um, this section over here but what I do is I just brush them out just so that they don't stick together and stay too tight. Okay so when you're done with your hair you'll find that you either like how tight your curls are um, or you can soften them a little bit. For me this is a little bit too much of a curl per se so I'm just going to run my JHD over lightly just to straighten out the curl a little bit and you'll start to see it kind of soften even more which is what I like I also want to add some curl to the very top here so I just keep it I do one and I put it out and you can already see a curl starts there 
just adding waves to the very top you just put it in hold it and pull it out run your fingers through it if you want to make one in the front you just lightly curl it hold it for like one or two seconds and pull it out and that's basically how it's done oh okay so I really like how that looks because now I've sort of added some texture to the very top um, and you can scrunch up your hair a little just to make it kind of poofy if you find it still too tight like I said just run your JHD through it a little um, just lightly through it but not at the ends just like at the middle of your hair um, so I'm going to do the same thing this side just like very lightly and then just add some waves over here so i'm going to curl it hold it one two and let go i am very very happy my hair is like super fluffy right now so i'm just going to tame it a little i'm going to use the kardashian beauty black seed oil and i'm just going to pump a little bit of that just like one pump because the stuff is like super like oily so I just run my fingers through my hair like that and I basically let my fingers do everything like just pull your hair so I don't like rub it on I just like run my fingers through it okay so that's it for hair my hair is basically done um, I always feel so good when my hair is like fresh and just like super light and like doesn't have that that hair smell if you know what I'm talking about like you know when it's time to wash your hair and you get a hair smell oh. all right so here's done I'm just gonna clip it back and then start on my makeup I'm just gonna go and wash my hands because I've still got some of that black seed oil on my hands so just before I touch my face I'm gonna go wash my hands quickly all right hands are clean I'm going to start with my makeup I've already got moisturizer on my skin I'm just going to put some primer on I'm gonna start off by using the Dimlogica skin perfect primer and this is part of the age smart range so this is just a little sample size that I got from um, the Dermalogica counter when I went for a skin uh, what is that like skin mapping and stuff anyways um, I wanted to try it out so I have used it before and I really like it but I'm just gonna use it again using like a matte foundation I'm just gonna work that into the areas on my face where I have like the most pores which is sort of like my t-zone area and just using the leftover product just spreading it around on my face I just said it smooths away fine lines brightens and primes for flawless skin and to prep for makeup application um, and it's got SPF 30 in it and it's part of the um, age smart range it feels really nice on my skin and it smells really good I think I might just get the bigger one like this I always like to try out the mini ones because it isn't something you want to waste your money on I always like ask for little samples like that and then try it out and if you really love it <clears throat> and it works for you then <clears throat> it's probably something you want to invest your money in you know all right so today's look i want to do a full coverage foundation look so i'm gonna use a primer oil as well i'm gonna use the smashbox photo finish primer oil um and i love this stuff so much so i'm just gonna put a little bit just like on my face a little bit like a little bit of the stuff goes a hell of a long way Do you know what I actually like is that I can see now, even though I put the primer oil on top of the Dermalogica um, primer, the skin primer. You know usually some primers are so thick that if you put something else over that, that it will kind of like almost like kind of come off in like little pieces, like bits and pieces, like little balls, like almost flake off. And this hasn't, like it's just stayed on. And it's like, it just looks like it's meshed so well with the oil. I really like how glowy it's making my skin. Okay, so I think I'm going to let that sit on my face for a bit before I put my foundation on, just so that it can set a little bit. I'm going to start with my brows. Okay, so for my brows, I'm going to use the Isla Brow Pomade in the number 10. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. 
and it reminds me a lot of the Benefit Ka brow that I always use. So I'm going to do a super bold brow because I haven't done one of these in a while. The stuff is so pigmented. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to go off camera and do this brow really quickly. Okay, and then to clean up my brows, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. Alright, so for foundation, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. And it's in the shade number 5, 5.0, 5.0. So this is the first time I'm going to be using this foundation. I mean, when I tested it in the store, it was super full coverage. Um, this will probably be a little bit too hectic for like an everyday foundation. But I want to do a super full coverage foundation today so I'm just gonna use this All right, and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin using this is um, a real techniques expert face brush Wow you guys <laughs> oh, is so full covering oh my gosh holy crap So I want to keep it on like all day so that I can see whether the foundation oxidizes or not. I kind of look like a ghost. I know it looks super light on camera, but I'm going to like bronze my skin up and everything. So, yeah. Beauty blender with some Fix Plus. And I'm just going to push that into my skin. That is full coverage. Holy crap. Um, I put so much on my hand thinking I'm probably going to have to use a lot, but... Okay, so I'm just going to conceal a little bit under my eyes because I tend to have like just this section of like dark circles. Um, so I'm just going to try and conceal that a little bit using the LA Gold Pro Conceal um, concealer and this is in the shade porcelain so I'm just gonna use a little bit of that I'm really not gonna use a lot because I feel like I don't need it because I have such high um, coverage already Alright, I'm just going to sit under my eyes using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Alright, so I'm not going to leave that on for too long. I'm just going to buff it off. Radio! Alright, now for bronzer, I'm going to use the Benefits Hula Bronzer.
Just using the same bronzer to contour my nose. So far, I'm really loving this foundation. Like everything on top of the foundation is blending in really nicely, so I'm happy. I'm really happy. Looks so good. I can start to see that it has oxidized a little bit. Um, so it's starting to like look a lot more like it fits into my skin tone. Also, guys, just like off topic. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who like commented on my video, my Q&A video, like I just got so much positive feedback from everyone who ever watched my video, who ever commented. I was so overwhelmed by just all the nice things everyone was saying, but I had so much fun making the video initially. And I was busy editing the video, I was like scared of, of like what to put in the video and what to take out, but I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna put everything in, I'm just gonna lay it out there. And I was so happy because initially I thought that it wouldn't be the type of video that I'd probably make. It is kind of personal and whatever, but it was a nice way for me to like kind of show you a different side to me. Just like the support that I got on the video was just amazing. So thank you guys so much. All right, so the eyeshadow look that I'm gonna do today is just my go-to eyeshadow look. Something that's kind of just neutral and warm toned. And I'm going to use my Slaves for Days palette. This is from Switch Beauty, I think. I have very cool eyeshadow palettes on the website. Okay, for my first shade, I'm going to use this color right here. So I'm just using a very small blending brush that looks like that. So y'all guys, tell me how's your 2018 going? My 2018 is going okay, I guess. Like I feel like this year I said I'm definitely gonna focus on my YouTube more. Mostly because you guys have been asking me for more videos and I find it so encouraging when you do ask me. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna focus more on my YouTube this year because I'm very excited to make videos. I'm so excited to make videos actually. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on this year. Just like making lots of videos and putting out some really cool content for you. And definitely like just meeting more of you. I feel like I shouldn't be so scared all the time. <laughs> and then the next color I'm going to use is this brown right here. There aren't any um, like names on the colors. So I'm not necessarily sure which one this is. But it's kind of like a very... Um, neutral chocolate brown and nothing too dark but it's definitely a warm tone brown I love using warm tone colors I feel like they just um, go really well with my skin tone so I'm just gonna put that and focus that in the crease so tonight my husband and I are going to that new restaurant that opened in Camps Bay it's called Chinchilla Rooftop Bar or chinchilla rooftop cafe and bar or something like that but i'm very excited actually because i haven't been there before but i've seen it i've like i've driven past it a few times and the fact that it's named after a cat i'm just like yeah i'm going a few friends of mine actually went there before i didn't actually ask them how it was but um i checked out like the reviews online and just like the pictures and like the scenery so it overlooks the ocean and i think if you are familiar with camps bay it's basically just above what is that place's name i think it's in zero so i'm actually excited because the weather's so nice today because it's like overlooking the beach we'll probably get a an amazing um sunset view and I haven't had their food, like I'm someone like if their food doesn't taste good then I don't care like how pretty the decor is, where it's situated, like, there's no way I'm going back. <laughs> okay, the next colour is this orangey colour and I'm just going to use that colour to blend the first two colours together. So it's just at the edges where they meet. Right, then I'm just going to go in with a clean blending brush and then just blend those colours together. Okay. 
Okay, and then for my lid color, I'm just going to use something very light and neutral. Um, I'm going to use this color right here. I'm going to keep it nice and bright. I don't want anything too like dramatic, like in terms of shimmer and stuff. I think I'm just going to keep it nice and neutral and nice and light. And it's just something that I like it that always works for me. Do you know when you like try and experiment with colors and stuff and then you actually experiment on the day where you're supposed to go somewhere, like somewhere important. So I'm just going to stick with what I know tonight only because like I'm just going to feel comfortable. Like I'm not going to feel like people are staring at me because my makeup looks ridiculous. That happened to me once before. I actually um, was on my way to, it was either like a wedding or an engagement or something. But anyways, I experimented with two, no it was a birthday. I experimented with two different foundation shades and... Well, usually you would put the darker one on the perimeter of your face and then the lighter one on the center of your face. So that's basically what I did. The foundations didn't like mix well. So you could literally see like the border of my face and then just like the center of my face. Like so there was like a distinct, even though I was like blending everything in and before I left the house it looked so nice. But during the night it's like you could see them separate. <gasps> you guys. Oh. It was terrible but I mean imagine someone like actually knew who I was there they'd be like oh my word isn't that that girl that does makeup Shame. and that's what happens that's what happens and people talk and wildfire spreads you know how Cape Town is so I was just like oh my word I gotta make myself missing but it was a mistake that I've learned from now I'll never ever use those two foundations together again ever righty yo let's go for a different color I feel like I need to play music I'm just faffing around over here Taking my own sweet father's time. Maybe I should go get my phone. Do you guys remember the Now CDs? So I think they still have Now CDs that's out. I think Now 75 is the latest one. But I remember when I was very young, like we used to buy those Now CDs. I started to listen to like the very old Now albums. And I'm currently listening to Now 38, uh, which was the Now CD that came out in 2004. I don't even know what grade I was in 2004. Yeah, do you remember? This is how it looks. So that's now 38 from 2004. And just like the songs in here. It's just like so nostalgic. So I actually started listening to now 25 or like 26 the other night. And like all the songs were like so old school. And like those are the songs like when you were in high school. Um, actually no, I think I was in primary school at now 27. What was that? Yeah, it must have been because if now 38 is 2004, I don't even... I think I was in high school in 2004. No, seriously, you guys, listen to the songs. Natasha Benningfield, Pocket Full of Sunshine. Eva Levine, My Happy Ending. Britney Spears, Every Time. Asha, Burn. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Maroon 5, She'll Be Loved. What else is on here? Nelly, My Place. Dido, Sand in My Shoes. I used to love Dido, you guys. <laughs> Do you remember the song? Did you guys watch The Hills that used to come on MTV? Um, what's her name? Lauren Conrad. She was in there. I used to love her. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm literally going to listen to Natasha Benningfield's album. Okay, so let's finish this makeup look off. I'm just going to go in with more of that brown color. I think The Hills was like the very first TV show that showcased young women like making it in um, like magazines and advertising and all that kind of things. Um, I think that's when blogging was like a really big thing in the US. Um, I don't know if anyone actually started it here at that time because then you know South Africa is always like 10 years behind and everything. Um, but I think that was like the very first show we like, it was like young girls. Um, and they were like a group of friends, so kind of like how influencers are and then just like, I don't know, like making it in the media and advertising and just like going to like these cool events and stuff. It just seemed so rehearsed, like their lives just looked so amazing. There was something else, Laguna Beach, that's it, it was Laguna Beach but then they were still in high school and then the heels was after that was Lauren Conrad's show. And then they were kind of like in the workplace and stuff. Anyways, I know it was my, like my favorite show ever. And I'm someone that can kill like movies and TV shows. Like I can watch it over and over and over and I'll never ever get bored. Alright, for my low lash line, I'm just going to go back in with the very first color that we used over here. Alright, very first color is going in underneath just below my low lash line. Ok, 
Okay, and then I'm just going to use the same brush and then go in with the darker shade. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of definition to my eye using a very dark brown. Um, and I'm just going to use this cute little mini brush. And then the darkest brown in this palette... I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but we'll try it. Um, it's going to be this one over there. Let's see how it goes. I kind of like that sultry look that it gives me, you know? So I'm just going to smoke it on my top lash line as well. My eyes. I'm going to use this very pretty gold that's in this palette, just a little bit. I mean, just pop that in the inner corner of my eye. All right, and then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. That looks like that. I haven't actually used this before, so let's see how it works. I don't like waterproof mascaras, but is this waterproof? I don't know. Is it? It doesn't say, so let's wing it. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the Blushing Blush Powder Blush by Clinique. <laughs> and it's in the color Precious Posy. And it just looks like that. It's very pretty. So moving on to highlighter. One of my favorite products lately has been the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette by NYX. And it comes in a palette like that. And it's got a whole bunch of different color or shade highlighters. Um, so there's yellow. There's like a cute little pearl peachy color. And then there's almost like an icy purple lilac color that's over there. It looks very bright in here, so you won't be able to tell. And then this is like more of a rose gold highlighter. And then you get the gold and then a bronzy and then like a more lighter shade highlighter. But I have been loving this one specifically. So just check out that pigment. It is incredible. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this one over here on my cheekbones. Can you see that? <gasps> what? No. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is... No. <laughs> what is even happening right now? I know that's a bit much. That's a bit excessive, but I'm gonna blend that in. Let me just get my buffer brush. It's not as soft as what the Inglot ones are, but the Max Soft and Gentle is a lot, like the specs are a lot larger. Um, these ones are a lot more softer, but you can still kind of see them. So on images, these are absolutely amazing, but in person, they can look a little much, but I absolutely love it. Like I absolutely love how it looks because I know, especially if you're going for like a sunset vibe, like the light is just going to catch your highlighter amazingly. And I think that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> to get like a really good highlighted picture, you know, like, yeah, that's my process. <laughs> Definitely blend that in, because I think a lot of people forget to blend their highlighter in with the rest of their face, then it just looks like a solid line, so just be careful. But I'm going to put a little bit on just the bridge of my nose. Um, when I had that masterclass with Sir John uh, not too long ago, if you don't know who Sir John is, he is Beyonce's makeup artist. I know, like crazy, right? Um, so he was telling me like the highlighter shouldn't go on the tip of your nose. It should go like just between your eyes, basically like here. But I'm just like so used to putting on the tip of my nose. And I think everyone is so used to putting on the tip of their nose, like because it makes your nose look sharper. But he's someone that's like more for like natural looking makeup look. So I think he's always like encouraging. I keep got to put it right there. But you know what? 
I'm gonna put some just on my cupid's bow and then just my chin a little bit as well a little bit above my brow and then I'm gonna go in with that exact same highlighter and I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath the art of my brow cool always want to make sure you blend everything in highlighter blush you don't have to press hard and blend just like lightly blend everything together and it makes such a difference it just makes your your makeup look flawless okay so i'm just gonna set my brows with the benefit gimme brow gel and i'm just gonna brush these up a little For lips, I'm going to use the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Boldly Bare, and this is one of my absolute favorite nudes. And then for lip color, I'm going to use the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. Alright, and then just to kind of add that ombre effect, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Mocha. So the only lip color that I've been wearing for the past few weeks has been the combo of these two. They definitely stay on all night. I think I wore this to the We Love Summer Festival. I think I also wore it to Kinky Summer, which was New Year's Eve party. And these two are like the power combo. Like they work so well together. I use the lighter color in the center and then the darker one on the outside just to make your lips look a lot fuller. And if you want to make it look even fuller, you can apply some gloss over it and it should just make your lips be like... You know, I mean to finish it all off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay guys, so that's it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. So I will hopefully edit it today and it should be up very soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will probably leave a list of all the products down below. Or I will put it in a separate blog post. I think maybe that's always easier because then I can explain a little bit about the products as well. Either way, whatever I do, you'll see it. Don't worry. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.